going to tell the press everything I know. This isn't a game. You need to be careful. Things are about to get really intense around here. Next Tuesday. Where is my mother? Do what I ask you to do, and she'll be fine. It's a night of life and death decisions. You are going to tell me everything. You're going to get shot in the face. Just kill her. Because for someone in the Oval. The president wanted to see me. He said he would make me rich if I slept with him. It is worse than I thought. It's the end of the line. This is nuts. Handle it. Tyler Perry's the... All right, Oval fans, you just saw the preview for next week's episode, Season 3, Episode 9, entitled Glove Up, airing December 7th. The synopsis. As the madness continues in the White House, Victoria demands Alan to do the unthinkable. Meanwhile, others are plotting against the first family. Now, yeah, the synopsis sounds like more of the same, let's be honest here. But before moving further in the promo breakdown, make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe as we move closer to 200,000 subscribers. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content on the channel. And follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. So, uh, Max is warning the vice president that, you know, you need to be careful because the vice president says, look, I'm going to go out there and tell everybody everything I know. And um, the press will know everything. And he also says, you know, hey, just... Strap yourself in, boys, because it's about to get intense around here. And I'm thinking, man, uh, where have you been? It's been pretty intense since episode one. It turns out that it, I think it seems like it's the next morning, the next day. Victoria's on the phone with Alan. Alan's like, where's my mom? And look, if you do what I tell you to do, she'll be fine. So did Victoria abduct Alan's mother until he goes through with killing her? So it seems that the cliffhanger ending of last week, nothing came from it. Like, uh, he doesn't bash her skull in with a bat. So, sir, look, I mean, I know Victoria is like two birds, one stone. You kill Ellie to get rid of her for me, and you turn into a man. And I'm thinking, why don't you just get grip or somebody else to do it? That's, I mean, this seems so asinine to me. It really does. Uh... Donald demands Lily tell him everything that she knows about the situation in regards to, you know, how Bobby got into the White House. And Lily's like, oh, you you want to get shot in the face. And then later on in the promo, and remember, this isn't just the promo you saw. It's also the end credit scene of Tuesday night's episode. Donald, and I can't tell who it is based on, like, the shadows of the attic, not to mention the oval logo um, covering up most of the other person's body and face. I think it might be Donald and Kyle. But while Lily's in the attic, um, you know, they come up there and he says, oh, I want to get you to tell me everything, <laughs> Lily. So we also have uh, Kareem telling Dale that Sharon isn't coming home tonight because, you know, Dale's like, hi. And Kareem's like, hi, Dale, where's Sharon? She's not coming home tonight because it looks like Sharon and Kareem both go over to Richard and Nancy's house and... Um, it looks like it's uh, Richard, Barry, Sharon, and Kareem in the dining room. And then later on that night, it looks like um, Sharon's in, like, you know, nighttime attire. And she tells Richard about the Hunter situation. And Richard says, oh, well, this is worse than I thought. But even before that, it looks like when Sharon first gets back to the house, she walks up on Barry just making out with some random girl. Barry, who's this? Oh, um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm just wondering why the hell she's staying over at Richard and Nancy's house. Probably because she wants to be close to those who work in the White House because she doesn't feel safe. And this is the bull crap. It's like, Sharon, you leave Richard and Nancy's house. You literally pack up your stuff and leave. Then you go in with Kareem. And then you make Kareem take in Dale. And now you're just going to leave Kareem. You're a piece of work. So, um, we have like three other scenes to talk about, but we really don't have... A lot of dialogue um, when Kareem and Dale are both at the apartment Kareem says this is nuts so I'm guessing that Kareem has a bit of an attitude not only because Sharon is at the uh, you know her ex's house but also because he's probably thinking Dale has something to do with what happened to Sharon being taken away to the White House unless he actually learns what happened and that Dale had nothing to do with it so Kareem's in his feelings as always so uh, Max is on the phone with somebody in the van. I wonder if it's Blakely. I mean, like, seriously, this is Max on the phone. Who could he be calling? Is it 
like a call from the vice president about, hey, I'm, we're having you taken to this location. I'll meet with you all tomorrow morning. Could this be Blakely? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, Donald's on the phone and he says, handle it. And that's what has people talking. All oh, snap, somebody's going to die in this episode. Is it going to be Alan killing Ellie so he can make sure his mom's okay? Is it Donald saying, handle it to let's say Kyle to kill Lily? I don't know, but we'll find out soon enough. Um, but with that being said, that's all I have to say for this particular promo of next week's episode of the Oval. I might do one or two discussion videos before next Tuesday. We'll have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. And if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.